Hi, I'm Daniel Chand, evangelist and founder of Walking Like Jesus Ministries. And today I'm sharing on the fear of man and how to overcome the fear of man. If we look at Acts chapter 4, verse 12, one of my favorite portions of scripture, Peter and John are getting told off by the authorities. They're saying, stop using the name of Jesus Christ. You've just healed someone, now stop it. And this was their response. Verse 12, nor is there salvation in any other name under heaven given among which men must be saved. Verse 13, now they saw the boldness of Peter and John. They saw the fearlessness of Peter and John and perceived they're uneducated, they're untrained men. And they marveled and realized they've been with Jesus. Let me just break that down for a moment. The authorities, they saw that these men, they're uneducated. So where on earth have they got this confidence? They're untrained men, but they marveled and came to the realization they've been with Jesus. And friends, I wanna encourage you now that they were with Jesus when Jesus was on the earth. But friends, now as new covenant believers through the blood of Jesus Christ, God is with you and he's not just with you, he's upon you, he's within you, flowing through you to reach those around you. Friends, I want to encourage you because when you're walking with Jesus Christ, there'll be a supernatural boldness that will be upon you. I'm not talking about a confidence that will just help your flesh or a, conf or a five step program of the 10 ways of the seven steps of the better me. I'm talking about a Holy Spirit boldness that will come upon the believer when you've been with Jesus. Check this out, friends. When David killed Goliath publicly, before that, he killed the lion and the bear secretly. So when you spend time with Jesus secretly and privately, there'll be an overflow of power, love and grace in the public place. So I wanna encourage you friends, prioritize time with Jesus. Don't just have that time. Listen, Jesus is more than a spare tire that we pull out in an emergency. Jesus is more than a parachute that we pull out when we really need it. Don't get me wrong, he's there for you when you need him. He'll be there for you more than any, anyone else really. But friends, he wants to take first place. And when you're walking with him, you'll be empowered to walk like him. I wanna pray for you because I believe that even right now, as the word is going forth through the camera, through the TV, the fear of man is being ripped out by the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every single person watching right now. Every spirit of fear, get out in Jesus' name. We break your power. And Lord, may the fire of the Holy Spirit touch lives, mark lives, and empower every person watching to live in the secret place with Jesus Christ and then in the public place with his power. Amen. I love you and I pray this will powerfully touch you in Jesus' name. Amen.